Hello you beautiful people, today it is a quick video on each individual player who has been chosen to be in the final Canadian squad for the Women's World Cup 2023. For those of you who tuned out since the Olympics, this could be a great opportunity to refresh your memories and also meet some of the new faces. But before we begin, we would like to point out that there were many great players who missed out to be part of this final squad. So a special shout out to all the Canadian players who worked hard for the past season in hopes to be selected. Some of you are still young, some of you were very unfortunate with injuries. Don't worry, you will have your chance, believe in yourself. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. And for the first player, we have Kaylin Sheridan. Born in 1995 in Whitby, Ontario, she made her first debut for Canada in 2016 at the age of 20. She mainly served as a substitute player for Stephanie Labbe over the years, but could this time be her breakthrough moment on the international stage? Well, on the club level, she has been nominated for the NWSL Goalkeeper of the Year award multiple times and she is currently playing for San Diego FC. Sheridan is known especially for her shot-stopping abilities as she holds the record for most amount of saved penalties in this league. As the Golden Glove winner of CONCACAF 2022, this is the time for her to become known internationally for her amazing ability despite not playing in Europe. Undoubtedly, the starting goalkeeper for Team Canada. Next, we have Sabrina D'Angelo. She was born in 1993 in Welland, Ontario. She made her senior debut for Canada in 2013 and has been part of the national squad ever since. On the club level, she plays for Arsenal, and before that she has played in Sweden and in the US for quite some years. She will likely sit on the bench going into this World Cup, but if needed, she can definitely get the job done. Et pour la prochaine, on a Lisanne Pro, la nouvelle génération de carnet de but qui est née en 1999 à Montréal, Québec. Elle a fait ses débuts jeunesse à l'âge de 14 ans avec le programme de jeunesse canadien. En tant que gardienne, elle a la tendance à se précipiter pour toucher le ballon en premier et elle a aussi d'excellents longs passes. Elle joue actuellement dans la première division portugaise où elle a débuté 9 matchs cette saison. Sa taille est un petit peu en dessous de la moyenne pour une gardienne de but, mais en général, c'est une gardienne bien équilibrée à en avoir dans l'équipe. Next, we have Alicia Chapman. Born in the year of 1989 from Oshawa, Ontario, Chapman made her senior debut in 2014 and scored her first goal against Italy in 2015. Despite being a veteran, there was some doubt as to whether the 34 years old left back would even make it into the squad as manager Bev seems to rely more and more on attacking fullbacks in her system. But Chapman is known for her fearless stand down against any opposition player. And despite having played less games since 2022 due to injuries, she is still an invaluable player for this team for her defensive prowess and her experiences. Next, we have Shalina Zadorsky. Born in 1992 in London, Ontario, Zadorsky made her national debut in 2013 at the age of 20. And while she did miss out on the 2015 World Cup, she did participate in Rio 2016 and Tokyo 2020, and receiving both bronze and gold medal respectively. Currently playing at Tottenham Hotspurs, she is a reliable center back both for the club and for the country. She is a very vocal player on the pitch and she will prove to be a great asset for this Canadian backline at the age of 30. Next, we have Ashley Lawrence. Born in 1995 in Toronto, Ontario, Lawrence made her national debut against China in 2013. She has then played for PSG from 2016 
up until this year. But for the upcoming season, she will start playing for Chelsea, having signed a three-year contract in 2026. She is a world-class player by all means. She can play as a left back and as a right back going forward, sometimes even drifting into that midfield section if needed. Her goal line clearance against Sweden in the Tokyo 2020 final is the game-changing moment as Canada went on to win the gold medal. Without a doubt, one of the most important players for this Canadian team. Et pour la prochaine, on a Vanessa Gilles. Née en 1996 à Châteauguay, Québec, elle a fait ses débuts officiels pour Canada contre la Nouvelle-Zélande en 2019. Elle joue actuellement à Lyon, prêtée par Angel City. Et elle a remporté la division en féminine et la Coupe de France en 2022. Bien que ce soit sa première apparition en Coupe du Monde à l'âge de 27 ans, Vanessa est déjà la pièce maîtresse de cette défense canadienne. Her relentless defensive clearing during Tokyo 2020 was what kept Canada in the game against very tough oppositions. She is simply irreplaceable. Next up, we have Kadesha Buchanan. Born in 1995 in Toronto, Ontario, she made her national debut in 2013 against China at the age of 18. She played at Lyon from 2016 to 2022, having won five division titles and five times Champions League. Something not even Messi could do, by the way. And then she moved to Chelsea and won the FA Women's Super League and the FA Cup in her first season. She is very good at tackling and her strong aerial presence can also help the team offensively. Her partnership with Gail is not something any team wants to go up against. Et pour la prochaine joueuse, on a Gabrielle Carl. Née en 1998 au Québec, elle a fait ses débuts nationaux en 2015 contre le Mexique. Elle joue actuellement pour le Washington Spiri et elle a prouvé d'être une joueuse très flexible pendant son séjour en Suède, ayant joué à toutes les positions défensives à un moment ou à un autre. Elle n'a pas été choisie l'année passée, mais Gabrielle reste d'être une joueuse très importante pour le futur. And for the next player, we have Jade Hiver. Born in 2001 in Markham, Ontario, she made her first national appearance in 2017 in a friendly match against the United States. She played in the 2019 World Cup and the 2020 Olympics as a substitute player. She currently plays for Manchester United, having not participated in the 2023 NSW draft. Hiver is still considered a talented prospect, despite having already played 36 national games for Team Canada, and her continuous growth as a fullback will prove to be a great asset for the foreseeable future. Next, we have Simi Avujo. Born in 2003 in Georgia, United States, she was eligible to play for USA, Nigeria, or Canada due to her Canadian mom. She did play for the US U-17 team before her time in the Canadian U-20 team. Avujo had her senior debut in 2022 against Australia and she was also named Canadian Young Player of the Year. She usually plays in a holding midfielder role in her college team, but she has also played as a number 10 in the national team. Overall, her physical power and height could bring tactical variations to the squad if necessary. Next, we have Sophie Schmidt, born in 1988. Winnipeg, Manitoba. She had her senior debut in 2005 against the Netherlands and she currently plays for the Houston Dash since 2019. And before that, she had played for Frankfurt and Sky Blue FC. She did not participate in the last Olympics, but the 35 years old is still capable of playing a defensive role with impressive stats in tackling, blocking, clearances, and aerial duels. Her experiences will prove to be valuable in that Canadian midfield, especially against other talented midfielders for the control of the ball. Next up, we have Quinn. Born in 1995 in Toronto, Ontario, Quinn made their senior debut in 2014 in a 3-1 victory against Italy. In 2020, 
Quinn came out as a transgender and non-binary, and they were allowed to continue playing in the women's category based on their birth sex instead of their gender identity. Hence, Quinn was also the first publicly known transgender and non-binary player to compete at the Olympics. And they also set a record by becoming the first trans athlete to win a gold medal. On the club level, they played in Washington Spirit and Paris FC among other teams. Quinn is known for their excellent distributions and short interplays, and they will likely play an important role in that midfield trio along with Fleming and Grosso. Next up, we have Julia Grosso. Born in 2000 in Vancouver, BC, she made her first senior debut in 2017 and she scored her first international goal in CONCACAF 2022. But the, most people know her for scoring the game-winning penalty kick in the final against Sweden. She is currently at Juventus, having scored 4 goals in 34 games. She mainly plays as a number 8 who brings the ball forward to supply the frontline attacking players. Still a very young player for a midfielder, she will play a major role in that midfield area for Team Canada. Next up, we have Jessie Fleming. Born in 1998 in London, Ontario, Fleming made her first senior debut in 2013 at the age of 15 years old, the second youngest ever player to have played for the national team at the time. She currently plays for Chelsea since 2020, having won the Women's Super League and FA Cup multiple times. She was also named the Canadian Player of the Year in 2021 and 2022 consecutively. She is a very good passer and a threat in the final third. Fleming is the leading figure in that midfield trio for the foreseeable future going into this World Cup and beyond. Next up, we have Adriana Leo. Born in 1992 in Mississauga, Ontario, Leon had her senior debut in 2013 against China and she has also scored her first international goal in the same game. She missed out on games during 2016 due to lack of club games, but after that she has established herself as a regular of the Canadian squad. She has played for many club teams in US and in England, notably West Ham United and Manchester United. She has 30 goals in over 169 club appearances. Her ability to take on player in a 1v1 situation will prove to be useful, especially if come into the game as an impact sub. Et pour la prochaine, on a Evelyn Vian. Née en 1997 à l'ancienne Lorette, Québec, Evelyn a joué son premier match international en 2021 contre les États-Unis. Elle joue actuellement en Suède, prêtée par Gotham FC. Elle a marqué 27 buts en 33 matchs dans la saison dernière. Elle sera bien adaptée pour jouer un style de contre-attaque avec sa vitesse et son instinct pour le but. Evelyn a maintenant la chance de vraiment montrer sa valeur sous la plus grande scène du football après avoir manqué la CONCACAF 2022. Elle a tout ce qu'il faut pour devenir une joueuse extraordinaire. Next up, we have Dean Rose. Born in Tecumseh, Ontario, the 24 years old had her first senior debut in 2015 at the age of 16. She was named U17 Player of the Year in 2016, and she currently plays for Reading in WSL. She hasn't played much in this season due to long-term injury, and there was some doubt as to whether she would recover in time for the upcoming World Cup. But at her prime, her acceleration from the midfield area is lethal. Along with the 1-2 plays with her teammates, makes her a threat in or outside of the penalty box. If used correctly, she could be the X-Factor in that final third attack for the Canadians. Next up, we have Jordan Hutima. Born in Chiriwak, BC in 2001, Hutima had her first senior debut in 2017 against Spain at the age of 16, making her the third youngest player to ever play for the national team. She was already the leading goal scorer in the Champions League before she even turned 20. She has played for PSG from 2019 to 2022. 
2 and she is currently playing for OL Reign, having scored 4 goals in her last 13 games. She likes to set up play and provide assists for her teammates in the national team. But going forward, she needs to become a striker of her own, someone who is an automatic threat whenever she is inside the penalty box. Next up, we have Nichelle Prince. Born in Ajax, Ontario in 1995, Prince had her first international game in 2013 and has since been part of the Canadian squad, having scored 14 goals since her debut. There was doubt as to her availability during the World Cup, having suffered an Achilles rupture in November 2022. Her club team, Houston Dash, had her listed as season in the injury, but Bev insisted to bring her in in the preparation camp and eventually in the final squad. She has tremendous physical strength to carry and defend the ball. Plus, her spatial awareness makes her a unique addition to this Canadian squad, maybe despite not being fully fit. Next up, we have Olivia Smith. Born in North York, Ontario in 2004, Smith became the youngest player to debut in the senior team at the age of 15 years old and 87 days. She is set to sign to become a pro player by the time this video comes out. She already has 24 goals in the youth category, only 3 behind the 27 goals record set by Christine Sinclair, another player with great physical strength and immense potential to develop. She will likely have very limited game time in the World Cup, but just being in the squad will prove to be a great learning experience for the young striker. For the penultimate player, we have Chloe Lacasse. Born in Sudbury, Ontario in 1993, Chloe made her youth debut in 2014 with the U20 squad, and her national team debut in 2021 against Mexico. She did try to apply for Team Iceland in between, but the application was refused in the end because she did not meet FIFA's residence requirements. Her goal scoring ability is incredible, with a goal record of 100 in 129 games for Benfica. She is averaging almost one goal per game, which is the level of a world class attacking player. She can play on the wing or down the center, which will provide great tactical possibilities for the manager to utilize in critical moments as the new Arsenal player. And finally, we have the one and only Christine Sinclair. Born in 1983 in Burnaby, BC, she made her senior debut in the year 2000. And since then, she has scored 190 goals in 323 games across these years for the national team. On club level, she has 100 plus goals in total, most of them for her current team, Portland Thorns FC. It would be impossible to list all of her achievements in a single paragraph. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in a separate video going through her career. But to name a few, FIFA Player of the Year nomination several times, came 5th in 2012, she was the Golden Boot winner in the London Olympics, 14 times Canadian Player of the Year. The list goes on and on. Going into her 6th and most likely her final World Cup appearance, Sinclair's presence alone in the dressing room is the spiritual foundation for any successes this team might achieve. She won't likely last the whole 90 minutes if she is picked in the starting 11. In her last 5 games, she has all played around 65 minutes before being subbed off. Whether she is on or off the pitch, her symbolism alone is one of the greatest weapons Team Canada has against any opposition. Thank you for watching, this is Premium Soccer. Please consider dropping a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.